Hello everyone, welcome to MESS e-learning channel. In this lecture today, we'll solve a problem based on projection of lines. So, this is the question given. So, the question reads, line A, B, 70 mm long. Whenever there is long this word in the question, that dimension should be the true length. So, I'll write my given here. So, my true length is 70 mm. A line AB 70 mm long is inclined 30 degree to HP and 60 degree to VP. So, inclination with HP and VP is theta and phi. So, our theta is inclination with HP. So, theta is 30 degree and our inclination with VP is phi, so it is 60 degree. So, this is the angle associated with the front view and this is the angle associated with the top view. Now, its end A is 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. So, I will again write, so our end A, A is 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. So, this is denoting towards the first quadrant. So, this is first quadrant that is end A is in first quadrant. So, 10 mm above HP and A should be 20 mm in front of VP. Why this is A dash 10 mm? Because HP is always associated with the front view and VP is associated with the top view. So, then while its end B is in third quadrant, here the information for point B is also given that is end B is in third quadrant. That means our top view in third quadrant what happens is our top view is above x y and our front view is below x y. So, now I will write a little thing here. So, our end A if I, if I see it is in first quadrant. So, for end A let us say our line A B is a complete line. So, my A point will be on this side and B point will be on this side. So, for end A, end A is first quadrant. So, for that my front view will be above x y and top view will be below x y. For end B in third quadrant, so my top view will be above x y and front view will be below x y. This is, this is not what we have to write while solving the question, this is just, just for explanation part. So, now here if I see my for point A, my front view is above x y and top view is below x y for end B, top view is above x y and front view is below x y because point A is in first quadrant and point B is in third quadrant. So, let us now for go for point A because the information for point A is already given. So, I will mark my lens for point A. So, let us say this is 10 mm above and 20 mm in front. Now, as we have the points, what I will do is I will draw the lines. So, as I have the lines now, I will mark my points which I have already marked. So, this is my A dash and this is my A. Now, let us write the dimensions. So, this is 10 and this is 20. So, now, I have my A dash and A point marked. Now, the next given data is for true length. 
and as we know that theta and phi are the angle associated with the true length in the front view and the top view. So, we will mark our theta and phi first and then accordingly we will mark our true lengths. So, let us measure So, I will keep my protector here and I will mark my angle that is given to me. So, angle for front view is 30, but now as I know that point B, the front view is going to come below x y. So, my angle will also be marked below x y. So, I will take this and I will mark from here 30 degree. I will draw the line and this line should be light. Now, for phi, now as I know that my top view for B is going to be above x y. So, my angle for true length also will be above going above x y. So, I will mark 60 degree here. So, I have already marked two lines. Now, I will mark my true length. So, my true length which is given is 70 mm. So, I will take 70 mm on my compass. on my compass and I will mark. So, this is the line that is theta. So, from front view I will mark on that line because my front view in third quadrant is going to come down. So, this point is my first point in the locus of B that is for true length and this line is A dash B 1 dash. So, I will draw the locus now as I have the point already. So, this would be my locus of B dash. Now, I will mark the same true length for the top view which should be above x y. So, I will mark on this line of 60 degree and this would be my point for the locus of top view that is B 2 and that point should be B 2. So, this is my locus of B. And this is my true length of top view. And this is my true length of front view. Now, as we know that when I have true length of top view, if I drop that, I would get elevation length and if I rotate that, I would get my front view. Similarly, if I have true length of front view, if I drop that, I would get plan length and if I rotate that, I would get my top view. So, we have to follow this. Now, what I have? I have true length of top view and true length of front view. So, this is, so I will go with front view first. So, this is my true length of front view. So, now if I drop that, I would get plan length. Now, where should be my plan length? My plan length should be on the locus of A, that is this locus. So, I will drop the line 
till there. So, this is my locus of A and from B 1 the line goes till here and this B 1 dash to this should be B 1. Now, once I have my P L after dropping the next thing is to rotate to get top view. Now, where is my top view locus? So, this would be my locus for top view. So, I have to rotate till here and I would get my top view. So, I will take the distance of P L in my compass and I would rotate this to get my top view. So, this is A B. Now, similarly for true length of top view. So, once I have true length of top view, if I drop it, if I drop that, I would get elevation length. So, my true length of top view is this, is this. So, if I drop that, If I drop this, I would get my elevation length and elevation length should be on the locus of A. So, I will drop it till the locus of A dash. So, I will get my elevation length here. So, from B 2, it would be B 2 dash and once I have my elevation length, I would get rotate it to get my front view. So, now as we have our E L, I would take this distance of my E L and rotate it to get my front view. So, here is my this thing and I would get my front view. So, and I will join this to be here. So, this would be my B A dash B dash. So, I would get my front view here. So, now I have both front view. So, this is my front view, this is my true length, sorry top view, this is my true length. So, this is my front view and this is my true length. So, in third quadrant what happens is all the points all the points that should be in third quadrant should be above x y and the point that should be in uh, front view should be below x y because in third quadrant we have top view above x y and front view below x y. So, as in this line as in this question the point A that is one of the points of line A B is in first quadrant and then those points are traveling towards the third quadrant. So, A dash should travel to third quadrant that is below x y where should be the front view of third quadrant and your a should go above x y that should be the travel path for the top view in the third quadrant. So, this is how we solve the question when one of the point is traveling towards third quadrant from the first quadrant. Thank you, hope you understood.